It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, apple, orange, banana, pear and pineapple too Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends Wow, so much fruit Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa Hello We are choosing our favourite fruit What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <coughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? <coughs> is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, Bananas and more apples! An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious! Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too! And me! And me! Of course! What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK, cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK, raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot! Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Ooh. Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. <laughs> The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A 
pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. <gasps> in the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> Oh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top. Come, come on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun! Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, 
Snow is falling everywhere. Flying high in a chair. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis! Skis! Get your skis here! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? <laughs> Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> <laughs> Skiing is fun! Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -oh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? <laughs> All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah, where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah, stand back. Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Yeah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast. Whoa! Was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the children's fate. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof. 
Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> fun fair. Today, Peppa and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. And the giant teddy mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> Whee! 
George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, ho, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> New shoes. Pepper and George have been playing in the garden. <laughs> Pepper, where are your shoes? Oh, I've lost them. Well, I'm sure we can find them. <coughs> Maybe we should try the garden. <coughs> yes! Everyone is looking for Pepper's shoes. Mummy Pig is looking in the flower bed. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Daddy Pig is looking in the wheelbarrow. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Pepper and George look in the flower pots. Pepper's shoes are not there either. Oh. Oh. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Pepper's shoes. Pepper's shoes are lost. Now we haven't got any shoes to wear. <laughs> Poor Pepper. Your shoes were getting a bit old. <laughs> We'll buy you a new pair. Can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Peppa are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> we would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. <laughs> red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, <laughs> please. Of course. Red ones. Wow! No red shoes! <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Peppa. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? 
Everyone likes Peppa's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Peppa is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Peppa going? <laughs> Peppa is putting on her boots. You must wear your boots. <laughs> Mr. Bull in a China shop. Pepper and her family are going for a drive. <laughs> I love our car. Ho, ho! And our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> Stop! It is Mr. Bull and his friends. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's up? We're digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> Lads, let's smash up this old pipe. <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at smashing things. Wow! Tea break! Oh, dear. Now we'll have to wait even longer. Why don't you join us, Mummy Pig? Plenty of tea to go around. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Mr. Bull. <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr. Bull. Yes, Pepper. It's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr. Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. Here we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. 
I've smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new. Be careful not to smash it again. Ho oh, ho! I am very good at smashing things. <gasps> oh. <gasps> well done, Pepper. Thank you for mending my teapot, Miss Rabbit. No trouble, Mr. Bull. Phew. Look, boss, a pothole. There is a small hole in the road. And it's right outside Miss Rabbit's shop. What do you think, lads? Can we have a hole outside Miss Rabbit's shop? No! You fix my teapot, I'll fix your road. Uh, it's not my road. Mr Bull, how are you going to mend the hole? We'll dig up the road! Mr Bull is digging up the road. <laughs> Mr Bull likes digging up the road. Everybody likes digging up the road. George's balloon. Peppa and George have had a day out with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream. Why not? I think we deserve it. Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Coming right up. What flavours would you like? Strawberry for me, please. Chocolate for me, please. Banana for me, please. Dinosaur. Oh, oh, I don't think they have dinosaur ice cream. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon. Do you not want an ice cream, George? No. Dinosaur. Oh, oh. How much is the little balloon? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? It's all for a good cause. There you go, George. Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. If you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> ah, got you. Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. 
the roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Uh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea! <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. The fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh, no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Peppa. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here. Just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> Of course. Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> Oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny, but they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. 
Hello, Mr. Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. <coughs> Hello? Please, can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Ah, oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Bus stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. <laughs> of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. <laughs> We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look! There's a big ship! <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge! <gasps> the bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. <laughs> are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. 
it is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. The Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. Bing the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs>
<laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Pepper, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr. Dinosaur, Susie has Penguin and Pepper has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh! I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend. Susie. I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Pepper. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Arr. Ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsy diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> <laughs> Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. 
Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> Ah, what good little children you are. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. <laughs> As a grown-up, I must do this. Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <laughs> We will rescue the grown-ups! That tickles! Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Peppa, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes! But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. The carnival. Pepper and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello. Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. 
Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. Oh, what's that? Hello. Hello. Wow, there's a boat sailing on the road. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. Oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! It's OK. I've caught it. Oh! I'm flying away! Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> Help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! There. Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best Carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. <laughs> <laughs>